Hey Saber fans, how are you? Welcome back to another tutorial i um, bringing you today. And today we're going to be doing a boiling blade. Um, now I can't take full credit for this. Uh, Genesis Custom Sabers did this a little while ago on YouTube. And uh, so I kind of taken the idea from him. I thought it was a really neat project. And so I wanted to do it myself. Um, it doesn't seem too difficult. And um, I'm sure we'll be able to handle it here. Um, so basically the concept of the project, if you haven't seen the video, is that you're basically going to be, it's going to act like that you're cutting through uh, a wall, and you're going to get the effect by using a couple of things. Um, so the few items that you're going to be needing is the great stuff, and this is that expandable foam that you're using cracks and stuff, um, a little bit of black uh, spray paint, a battery. Now you could use a triple A or double A setup if you want to. Um, I'm just going to use the rechargeable battery that I have. A couple of LEDs. Uh, these are two white ones, which I'm going to actually put a yellow film over top of it. And you'll see that later. And that gives give me a, a, a yellow effect to it instead of just the white, which I don't want. Um, these are two amber LEDs, which will be down on this end. Or where the blade's going to be. And this is a orange uh, yellow LED. Um, you have your couple resistors so we don't blow out our LEDs. This uh, nail is going to be used within the blade tubing and it's basically going to push down on this little momentary switch which will turn the LEDs on and off. And then over here we have our uh, blade stock which I'm going to use and that's going to be uh, placed in here and glued in the place and then this is going to be used to go inside of the tubing and then so when this gets pushed down by the LED or by the saber on the end it activate the uh, the switch and turn the LEDs on so it's a really cool effect if you didn't see the video it would make more sense um, when we put it together here and you actually see what we're doing um, but I think you'll be pretty happy with the project and something you might want to try. Um, so I think the next step we're going to do is place our LEDs out and figure out kind of where we want them. And uh, we'll cut them out, cut out the spot for the battery, and we'll go from there. Alright, so we finished uh, step two here. And so I drilled out all the holes for the LEDs and for the blade holder, um, for the battery pack, and then wired everything up. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but you're not going to see any of it. It's all going to be under the great stuff foam. Um, <clears throat> you have the little momentary switch over here. So you hit that and it fires up all the LEDs. Um, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you have your you know, resistors wired to the positives and that's connected to each one just just figure it out I'll put the link up to help you figuring out what resistors you need with the type of battery that you're you'll be using and pretty much that's it I cut out the uh, little yellow um, cellophane um, you know cutouts or whatever for to, to make the LEDs the white ones a little more yellow in there but pretty simple and easy. Um, the next step is going to be putting the blade um, in here. I'm just going to glue that in there. Uh, and then I'll put the great stuff on. And I'm also going to cover all this, the wiring up, with um, some packing tape. Um, just some of this stuff. And that, uh, you know, cover all the wires and... Um, you know, because the, the great stuff's pretty sticky on there. And if I need to um, fix anything, I can, you know, try to rip it off. Um, but just to kind of cover everything up. And then also to cover the other side of these LEDs so we don't get, you know, obviously the great stuff on there. And then um, if I need to fix these or anything like that, if the LEDs uh, blow, you know, I can uh, fix it from the opposite side and just, you know, pop those off and, and re-solder them. Um, so that's about it, and uh, move on to step three here, and I'll be back in a moment.
All right, so I just wanted to show you real fast before I put the great stuff on there. So I literally just covered the entire thing, top to bottom, left to right, and packing tape. And that just kind of secures everything in there. The wires don't move at all. Keeps the LEDs in place and stuff like that. And it'll keep the, the great stuff from uh, getting on there. Um, and if you're not sure with the wiring, it, it, it's pretty much like wiring up a stunt saber. You're just going to connect all the um, positive um, spots from the LEDs um, together and resistoring each LED and then just linking all the negatives to the LEDs which runs to the battery. Um, one part of the, so all the LEDs linked together is going to go to one side of the switch and then the other side of the switch which is this white wire goes all the way over to the positive uh, for the battery um, and that's pretty much it that's the whole wiring setup um, so when you hit the switch button it uh, you know it just triggers it and it's a momentary switch so as soon as you release it which is what I want it goes off um, so that's pretty much it so let's spray the foam on there and uh, see what it looks like all right, so here's the finished product. I uh, did the spray foam on there, and then a little black paint around the edges to give the cooled effect on the you know, the molten metal. Um, so there was a, a an adjustment I did on the design here. Originally, I said there's I showed that there was a nail that came through the bottom, and then when you push down on the plastic piece on the in, on the top here, um, push down the tube, and then you know light the switches and the lights um, however when I put the spray foam on it was getting stuck in the crevices and the cracks and stuff so when I was pushing down I had to really push hard um, to turn the LEDs on so what I did is um, instead of having it on the inside and I had to scrape all the foam off too which was a pain um, and respray it again but so I drilled a little hole in the bottom here ran the wires through and then just connected the switch on the back side instead and it actually works out much better um, it's right below the the tube so when you push down on the tube it hits the switch on the back and it's just just a little bit um, higher than the the piece of wood so it works out perfectly and it's more reliable too you don't have to press down as hard so if I push down it it lights it up instantly um, and it has a pretty cool effect with especially with the black paint on there and it's all lit up and it definitely gives the, the cooled effect on the sides and then you can see the progression of the LEDs from the yellow at the at the base to the orange kind of in the middle to the amber um, at the end so let me throw a saber on there so you can get an idea of what it looks like Cyber assassin. Cyber assassin. So there it is lit up with the blade. So that's the lockup effect, and if you have that on your saber, uh, it gives it definitely a core effect. Um, it's kind of the purpose of it, you know, as you're melting through um, the metal or whatever. So, yeah, it came out pretty neat. Let's see if I can. Side. Essence. Dan Tarry. Dan Tarry. Just a different blade color, like a purplish color. So anyway, that's the idea of it, and it's definitely uh, sturdy enough to 
that's got a wide enough base to, to hold in there so you can use that as a stand if you like as well um, you could try hanging on the wall um, this this hilt's pretty heavy um, so I don't know if I would try it with that but um, definitely maybe a, a smaller um, hilt you might be able to get away with it without ripping this this blade out it's in there pretty secure especially with the foam all around it so that's it if you have any questions uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll help you out I hope you enjoyed and God bless may the force be with you and take care